So the new action comedy Bullet Train comes out later this week, and the only decision you need to make is whether or not this is a train worth catching. Please don't leave. What's up guys, I'm Sully Streams and today we're talking about the new action comedy Bullet Train with Brad Pitt. And all you have to know about this one is that Brad Pitt plays a hitman who takes a little bit of time away from his job to find some inner peace, but when he does start working again, he wants to ease himself in with an easy mission. All he has to do is steal a briefcase off of a train and deliver it to somebody. Obviously he does not succeed and it seems like there are tons of assassins on this train looking for that same briefcase. Imagine if he did succeed, like that would literally be the most boring movie of all time. Brad Pitt just boards a train and then gets off it again 20 minutes later. That would take some massive cojones from the studio. Just get us in the seats and throw total egg in our faces. I'd be mad about it, but I kind of hope that happens someday, weirdly. Anyway, if you like movies like John Wick and Snowpiercer, your ears should be perking up right now. So I feel like the marketing for this one has kind of been all in our faces, like I can't go on Twitter or watch TV without seeing an ad for this one. And before we get into the nitty gritty for this movie, I'm wondering if you guys feel like this too. When a movie starts releasing exclusive clips on social media before the movie even comes out, that gets me a little worried. Like, there's so much over-marketing for it. I'm like, God damn it, this movie's gonna suck, isn't it? Well, I'm happy to have my foot in my mouth for this one because this is the exception to that rule. It's actually good. Brad Pitt has been my guy for a long time. I've seen tons of his films and I've really enjoyed seeing where this most recent leg of his career has been going. He's still that same leading man material, but he's adopted more of that, like, bro stoner attitude. It actually reminded me a lot of his role in True Romance if you guys have seen that one. That's one of my favorite movies ever. And all the other actors in this cast are an absolute blast to watch. The movie does a really good job of incorporating everyone you already know is in here one by one and very slowly. But there are some big time cameos in here too. I'm not gonna really go into them because some of the biggest laughs were from movie stars just showing up that I wasn't expecting. You're gonna be doing a lot of the Leonardo DiCaprio meme during all their entrances. But this movie's legitimately funny. All the Assassins feel very unique and quirky and it's fun to see them interact and all of the banter amongst all these characters is a massive strong suit of the movie. Especially all the scenes with Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry. I literally need a full breath just to get both of those names out, but they play this kind of fantastic odd couple brother duo and they're responsible for most of the laughs in this film. I hate that I'm gonna say this because not everything these days needs to get turned into a franchise, so I'm not gonna look at the camera when I do but these two are legitimately worthy of a spinoff. There, I said it. The other strong suit of the movie is obviously the action. That's why you sat down to watch this one in the first place. You wanna see that gnarly, balls to the wall, bonkers type of John Wick action. That's why I went to see it in the first place, and thank God they nail all the fight scenes in this movie. I feel like you could see the fights naturally building really well as the stakes got higher too, until it exploded into this wicked, massive climax at the end of the movie. The director, David Leach, did Deadpool 2, Atomic Blonde, had a huge hand in John Wick, so the dude knows a thing or too about action. And it actually kind of had that John Wick tint that kind of cracked me up too. You know, like everything's half blue or half purple. Kind of looks like you just stumbled into like an EDM concert, but I'm a total sucker for it, so whatever. So you can probably tell, I thought this was a pretty fun time overall. I went with my dad who loves these types of movies. He gave it his stamp of approval. There's a lot to like, these characters are great and the action is top notch. But if you're gonna focus that much on those two things, you know something's gotta give here. So the plot ends up being this kind of twisting and turning mystery, and there are some details within there for the audience to find out, but I will say on more than one occasion, it kinda ends up turning on itself a bit. It just doesn't always make crystal clear sense, and you're gonna be scratching your head a little bit during the movie. But you don't even really have time to question the plot holes that much because of the nonstop action. Like, you're gonna be sitting there asking yourself, like, oh yeah, didn't he just say he's never met this guy before? And then a train door opens and Bad Bunny shows up trying to take Brad Pitt's head off. But yeah, yeah, you're not really signing on to this one for the story in my mind. And it's not to say the story is bad, you just get way more from these little character interactions throughout the movie than the overall plot. Bullet Train's just a fun time at the movies. The action looks really good and I probably laughed more than I have at any other movie this year. Really wasn't expecting that. The mystery plot with all of its twists and turns might fold it on itself more than once, but it didn't ruin my overall enjoyment of the movie. But it's the characters here that really make this one. All the assassins felt very unique, and I couldn't wait to see what crazy shit was gonna happen when they came face to face on this train. And when they finally did, it didn't disappoint, and I might even go see this one again because it was just kind of a blast. Bullet Train gets a Sully score of four stars.
So that's my review of Bullet Train. Let me know in the comments below if you're gonna check this one out or if you've seen it already. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys at the next video.